In this video, we're going to look at how the journal impact factor is actually calculated. And fundamentally, there is a formula that calculates it for you. So really, the formula looks at the average number of citations per paper averaged over two years. That's the most common definition. You can also do the same thing over five years and you get the five year impact factor. But most impact factors you see are of the previous two years. So the impact factor is a backwards looking metric. So you have the impact factor in year Y, for example, 2020, would be equal to the citations in year Y minus one. So that's the previous year, plus the citations in year Y minus two. That's the year before that. And then you divide that by the publications in the previous year, plus the publications in the year before that. And when you do that division, you get the impact factor. So let's look at an example to make this a bit more clear. So we've got a certain journal and we've extracted the information that we need. We found the citations in 2019 and the number of publications in 2019. These are proper publications and they don't include things like your editorials, retractions, discussions, corrections and your notes. These are your actual published papers. Then 2018, you have your citations and you have your full publications. So you start with a formula that we've discussed and we're going to look at 2020. So Y equals 2020. So you've got the impact factor in 2020 is your citations in 2019. That's 2020 minus one plus your citations in 2018. That's 2020 minus two. And that's how the formula works. So we just go to our table and we can find all the values. So citations in 2019 is going to be this value. Citations in 2018 is going to be this number. Publications is going to be this number. And then our publications is also going to be this number. So we substitute in those values and we get that. Then we just simply input that into a calculator or a spreadsheet and we get that you have an impact factor of 2.98. So that means that on average, we round it a little bit, each paper is going to get three citations. That might not mean that every paper gets three citations. One paper might have got 100 and another paper got zero. But average across the whole paper, you can get three citations. And obviously, the more cited papers are, there is a correlation with the impact. So some high impact journals like Nature might get loads of citations, whereas a journal that's getting virtually no citations, your work is barely being noticed. So it'll help inform which journal you would like to publish in. So hopefully this video has been very helpful to you and thank you very much for watching.